The tensions that rippled under the surface of a Lieb, building in intensity and momentum, were affecting the citizens of its nations in a profound way. As Uther journeyed through each province of his impromptu pilgrimage, he saw the face of his beloved country changing before his eyes. With each day came another town and fresh evidence of a coming storm. People everywhere were jumping at shadows and keeping huddled together, as though some primal instinct were taking charge. Even the childish faces of Uther's spontaneous escort were somewhat grim. As the party crossed the threshold of Ostia's enormous inner city gates, the ceremonial guard he'd only ever seen carrying batons now wielded naked steel, and from every crenel and wall bristled the points of notched arrows. With his ominous sensation pressing down on him, Uther sent word to his father of his arrival, and prepared himself for the officious and conceited procedures he would have to endure over the course of the day. Oh, Jesus Christ, this dialogue is difficult to read. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Immortal Sword! It's time for Chapter 5, which is called For Horseshock, I Can't Resist, I Have To Sing To This Lovely Hat. <laughs> <laughs> my voice completely cracked up there. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, instant fail. All right. <clears throat> anyway, let's continue. God, this song will be the end of me. What do you think, my lady? I'll stare somewhat less impressive, looking out from within. I'm not so sure I understand what you mean, Lord Uther. Just thinking aloud, I suppose. It may be some time before we receive word from Father. He's usually at Mass this time of day. You could look around if you like. I just may, actually. Any suggestions? The market's pretty impressive all year round. Sir Merrick is Adora. Keep an eye on him. Or, on her. Uh, it's, uh, of course. <laughs> I love how he doesn't know Marcus's name. It's so good. And what of you, soldier? I'm not sure, to be honest. I thought I'd know I, what I wanted to do once we got here. Can I be frank? Uh, uh, of course, my lord. You're running from something. Perhaps it would be better if you lingered a while. We may be able to help each other. Ah, uh, you're too kind, my lord. Knock that off. Oh, wow, look at that background. Oh, but this fruit is just fantastic. What do they call this? This is a Dornberry, my lady. Your father has it served with every pork dish. Nonsense! I'd have known it if I've ever tasted such divinity. Ha <laughs> My lady, if it's exotic fruits you're seeking, we should be moving closer to the edges of the city. Importers hut around the gates, waiting for their papers to be approved. They often get impatient and start peddling their wares in the queue. Oh, that sounds fun! Sir Eagle, shall we do that? My lady, we should remain close by the castle. It is only proper that we speak with Duke Ulrich as soon as we are able, and explain the business with his messenger. Oh, poo on your procedure! I want to see the imports. Lady Isadora, do they bring in clothing as well? Oh yes, the finest fashion, straight from the gates of Aquilia. I would encourage her. Excuse me? Uh, I am seeking Lady Madeline of Kaelin. This is she. What is your business? Uh, a summons from the castle. Lord Uther would like to see her at her nearest in oh, convenience. Very well. Tell him we shall be there shortly. Ahaha! <laughs> I always feel so regal when you speak for me, Sir Eagler. Indeed, we should make way for the castle, my lady. Oh, I suppose. Da 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 Wow, this, this, this game really likes to use my two favorite Fire Emblem songs. Glad you can make it, Madeline. I always feel ridiculous going through the notions when I speak to my father privately. I imagine it would be rather awkward calling the man who raised you my league. Aye, that's the heart of it. Ever since I was given my own estate, he insists on addressing me as Baron and not as a son. Oh, here they are. Greetings, your eminence. I am humbled to be in your presence, your grace. As am I to face you, Lady Madeline. How fares the good Marcus Kalen? Wow, is this is so this is Hector's dad? Huh, is he a bishop? Lord Housen is in good health and and in humor, my league. I will tell him you asked for him when I return home. That would gladden me, my lady. And Lord Uther, what of Frera? I have not seen Marcus Albert since his father's funeral ceremony, and I worry his, of his condition somewhat. I was considering granting him an uh, exemption when we next called the league. I'm sure that would upset him more than please him, your eminence. He is anxious to continue his work and finish his many projects. He is a resilient one, that man. I hear Prince Desmond himself attempted to finalize the lifting of our livestock embargo. 
What can you tell me of that? Uh, very little, your grace. I was there as witness and nothing more. <laughs> Look at Uther's expression, he's so weird. <clears throat> very well, on to business and I'll get right to the point. A large Aturian force is moving down from the eastern reaches. Their general has demanded passage to Ostia. Ward, Reard, Laos, Kaelin, and Catlets. While it is clear that they are marching for Bern, they will not tell us their intentions and refuse to hold position while I confer with the lords. This is troubling. What are your plans, if I may ask? To be honest, Lord Uther, I'm not sure what I should do. The Etruscans... Etruscans? Is that what they're called? Insist that I order the surrender of the Marcuses and allow them their passage. But what then of our pride? We'll not be taken seriously our nation for decades to come if we allow them to order us around. And yet, we've hardly the strength or resources to resist them. Then there are the possible repercussions of paving the road for a march on Bern. I see. A difficult position to be in, to say the least. Is there any way I may serve? Indeed there is, but before we begin, Lady Madeline, will you assist Lord Uther in this? Oh, but of course! I have Sir Eagler with me, who is enough of a knight for both himself and I. Very well. Ooh, cool. Are we gonna have a nighttime map? This looks like the place. I don't see anyone around, though. Oh, this is so exciting! We're on a mission! Defending the League from the looming Etrurian Empire against all odds. Calm down, my lady. We're just in here to take a peek at their force and send a report home. Oof there! Don't be such a wet blanket. Of all the things I could have been called. Ah, hold that thought. Ho, oh, fellows. Oh, my apologies, uh, ladies. Not at all. Job... Job's often a lot easier when I'm mistaken for one of the boys. I'm a little offended, though. Right, the job. Um, would you be Lord Uther of Redgrove? I'm here on behalf of Ostia today. You'd be, you'd be the scouts we hired, then. Sorta. Hassar. Oh, Hassar, that's Lin's dad. Ah, yeah, I can see the resemblance, even that's the same color. I thought he looked familiar. Here is the real- Hassar here is the real talent. We're just here because he doesn't like talking to people. That's not true. What part? That we're not real scouts or that you don't like talking to people? What do you know of the task, then? That it pays in Lysian sovereigns? Ha! <laughs> Here's your precious payment, you harpy. Uther, mind your manners, will you? That's fine. What do we do? I'm sure you've noticed a large army marching our way. We'd like some sort of idea of their numbers and intention. Eavesdropping, spying, we'll let you handle the details. We'll get it done. We got the fruit of the hawk, after all. What? What's going on? I can take a guess. Why, hello there! Your titties are enormous! <laughs> what the hell? Look at those things! Wow, Jesus Christ! Yup, I like this- I like this woman. A lot. A lot. <clears throat> anyway, let's, um, let's do some voice acting. And what do we have here? Spies, men, acquire targets. Hold fire. Well, ladies and gentlemen, are we to believe you are but traitors, wandering the night wrapped in steel and coats of arms as you are? I don't see how that's your business, ma'am. I'm merely taking a ride with my attendants, and I'd rather get home for the evening. I suggest you tell your men to stand down and let me continue. If it were so simple, you see, I have a reason to believe you are a danger to the Imperium. On the grounds of trespass and espionage upon the Turian soil, I have the right to detain you and imprison you within our camp until such a time as your innocence can be discerned with the proper authority. Wow, it's fucking hard to read these dialogues. They use so many complicated words. Let's not pretend you care for proper procedure, my lady. It's obvious that your commander is ready for war. He hasn't just sounded the horn. I warn you, if he intends to bring that war to Lysia, I will stop him myself. Watch brag... Gadushia? <laughs> Very well. I am Edelise, butcher captain of the 3rd Army External Resource Unit. It's my job to keep the mercenaries in line, you might say. I appreciate your candor, ma'am. Are we just going to ignore the butcher thing? I am Uther. With me is my friend Madeline and our cohort. Don't get too familiar, Uther. I intend to flay your armor from your skin and then pluck you apart limb by limb. I merely felt it polite to tell you the name of the one who would kill you. Pull back. Let's make sport of this. Wow, holy shit! Intense! Alright, boys and girls, keep together and watch all sides. They could have allies within shouting distance. Let's hope we can get this done before they alert the main army. I get the feeling this woman doesn't like sharing her prey. Well said. Jesus Christ, those are massive! Hmm, I can't wait. Come to me bleeding and broken and beg for a quick death. Okay, so she's sort of a... The, um, the dominatrix type, I guess. Edelise, she's a Myrmidon. 
has a keen eye. All right, plus 10 hit. Hmm. All right, this is a pretty big map. Holy shit. What, what's this class? Shaman? Why is he doing like a ninja kick? Oh, he drops a Magus Band. Increases Wrath Growth. Uh, oh, cool! There's bands that increase growth rates. That's pretty fucking cool. Anyway, let's take a look at our new units, shall we? Here is Hussar. He is Lin's father, in case you don't know. Wow, he's got pretty good stats. A horseman of the Lorca. Working as a soul sword to escape his past. And seems like he has a bow. A personal bow. Swift. Ah, it's a personal brave bow. That's pretty fucking good. He has Kanto and Pathfinding. Ah, yeah, right. Nomads have this skill by default. You just don't see it. Um, and then we have uh, Tony the Scout. This bow-wielding padfoot is surprisingly resourceful. So I assume Scout is like the recruit version of the Archer? Would make sense. I, this, I've heard that this game really likes recruit units. Short bow, steel bow. Wow, look at the stats on these things. 12 might 70 hit. I like it though, but it's ridiculous. Wait, does short bow have one range in this game? Nah, they got two range. And then we got uh, Cybel the Skywatcher. This is probably a Pegasus Knight recruit. Yeah, she sure looks like it. She has alien armor and everything. An alien mercenary, a hard and sensible girl with an empty smile. All right, uh, is that all of them? I think that's all of them. All right, so what do we have here? We have soldiers, myrmidons, mercenaries, and pirates. Um, I think Eagle still has the Sambo toe. Yes, he does. He's not quite in range though. Maybe. Oh, he has a conversation as well. Maybe I just murder this guy. I think I'm just gonna murder this guy. If I can hit. Which I did. Alright, there we go. And, uh, maybe... Wow, well, I the, these guys are placed pretty cleverly. They're placed in such a way that we can't reach them on turn one. And you don't get battle preparations yet, either. Anyway, Uther might be able to take down this guy, though. Mm, nope. Alright, I think I'm gonna attack this guy first, because he's probably diffi more difficult to take down, since you can't double him. Also, he doubles Uther. These m these Myrmidons are really fucking fast. Holy shit. Ah, B-rank. Lovely. Alright, so here's the question. Can Marcus... Yeah, he can! <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that Uther keeps saying his name wrong. Like, Merrick. <laughs> That's great. I love little touches like that. Alright, awesome! Good level up for Marcus. I do need to try and feed his Adora a couple more kills, though. As you can see, she's, um... She's struggling a little bit right now. Here we are on the precipice. And here you are, hesitating again. Might be. And it might be that such will always be my nature. Yet with these fine soldiers all around me, I feel foolish to act so timidly. Huzzah, Lady Zadora, and into the breach. Huzzah! I've never seen him like this. Did the pressure finally break him? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Does Marcus and Isadora have a support in uh, Fire Emblem 7? I actually can't remember. Anyway, something tells me I should stay far away from these guys. What I could do, do though, is I could place the scouting girl in such a way. Now, I don't want to place her in range of these guys, but I could place her in range of, of the Nomad. Yes, seven speed. I have nine speed, so I'm not gonna get doubled if I use the short bow. Although he's probably gonna go for Eagler. And I'll place you here. I can also place Hassar here, although I very much doubt that they're gonna go for him. And then we can use the fixed staff to heal up Uther. And then we just gotta block the pirate from going for the healer. Like so. Man, you know what this game really could have needed? A shove command. That would have been fucking great. Yeah, they're going for Eagler, as I thought they would. Oh shit. Ah, it's okay, Marcus is tanky. So, I think he promotes at level 11, and I'm not sure if it's something that happens immediately, or if it's something like, uh, I came to the recruits of Fire Emblem 8. Also, look at this fucking guy. Wow, I love the shamans. Oh shit, are you getting doubled? No. The little flip he did with his cape there made me think that he was, um, he was gonna double me. But yeah, wow, the shamans look really good. I always thought they looked a little bit... <laughs> wow, soldiers are so good. I always thought they looked a little bit, um... How to say, they looked a little bit like too evil in Fire Emblem 7, 6 and 8. I like these guys more actually, but I don't... Why do they do the ninja kick? Now this is a shaman, this is a scholar. They're actually different classes. So... 
will both of them wield dark magic then? I don't get it. Dark magic and... Oh! Okay, shamans wield fire and thunder magic. Oh, I just realized we got wind, thunder, fire. We got fire emblem four weapon style triangle up in this house. That's great. Anyway, let's check out this, uh, check out these new guys. I, we should probably see if we can't kill the nomad. Hassar can probably take care of him though. Uh, he only doubles. If I, um... Something... Oh, wow. He can't even kill this guy. Yikes. Yeah, that's not great. Eagler, Eagler is not fast enough. Maybe I shouldn't have split up like this. I should probably send Uther over this way. Yeah, I think if we use... Uh, we can probably... Yeah, he, he one-shots this guy with the Samba Toe. He actually one-shots both of these guys. Maybe we just kill this guy then. We can use the Samba Toe. Why not? Uh, I gotta check out Isadora's sword rank. I very much doubt she can use it though. Oh nice, bronze bow. That can be useful. Let's see, so what is the Samba Toe? The Samba Toe has D rank. Oh, it's a D rank sword. Uh, that means Harkin can use it, and that means uh, Isadora. Yeah, no, she's. She'll, she'll be able to use it soon. Anyway... Let's uh, soften up this guy. I think I'm probably gonna send Uther... I don't think that splitting up is the proper tactic right here. I don't think that's a very good idea at all. Because we got these guys over here. There's actually a miniboss over here. An archer, yeah. You guys know how I feel about those guys. At the same time, splitting up might be the best course of action if I want a good ranking, but I'm not really sure if the rankings have a good impact on the game at all, if you get anything out of it. Anyway, I'm gonna try to feed as many kills as I possibly can to Isadora, because she is by far the most underleveled person on my team. Isadora! Yeah, this game has low growth rates. Very low growth rates. As you might expect. If I do this, then Harkin should be able to finish him off. I probably have been using Uther a little bit too much. <laughs> Look at that little jump they do, it's great! Man, love the animations on this uh, game, it's great. Yep! So I assume that Harkin promotes the Mercenary, I assume that both Marcus and Isadora promotes the Cavaliers. Since, you know, that's sort of their canonical classes. That's what I'm hoping at the very least. And then I assume that Tori promotes to an archer, maybe? And that girl over there that I don't remember the name of, she probably promotes to a Pegasus Knight. Nice! Good job, Madeline. Good job! Um... Right, so if I can deal with this guy... Look at the- oh, god damn it. Ar having archers capable of dealing damage- <laughs> Look at that! She can hardly, uh... She can hardly draw her bow. That's cute. I love it. Anyway, I gotta be careful right here. Eight speed. 7 speed. Yeah, do I- I don't think I will be able to take two hits from these guys, but maybe Hassar can kill this? No, he cannot. If I'm gonna do this, then I will probably need to rescue her away from there. Oh! Wow! That's a crit. Yeah, because this guy will probably double me. 8, 9, 10, 11? Actually, maybe not. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, actually I won't get doubled. So that's 19 damage from this guy, which translates into... 14 damage. And then there's this guy who does 10 damage. No, I am absolutely fine here. I don't need to worry about that at all. But I think I'm... If we're gonna send Eagler this way... I feel like Hassar is probably more useful over here with the Pegasus Knights. Anyway, oh wow. Horse Slayer. There you go. Oh, it's it's nice experience for her. Even if she only deals two damage, I'm fine with this. But yeah, Eagler might be able to solo the, the top half. I can bring these two guys along, and then I can send everyone else over there. Ow! Oh, wait. Am I gonna get doubled now? I'm probably gonna get doubled, aren't I? Nope. Okay. Thank God. 
That was scary. Oh, what's going on here? Oh gosh, is that a Pegasus? It's so enchanting and deadly. Nay, it's, it isn't the beast you need worry about, it's the warrior that rides it. Ill and strike without fear or mercy, they are trying to think of bringing pride to their nation up before all else. True enough, but they can only strike as deep as they do because of their steeds. Their flight allows them to ignore mountains, rivers and forests, or any kind of choke point. They're a tactical nightmare. That makes sense, Sir Eagler. Didn't you once say that all y that you had taken an Ilan mercenary as a lover? L L Lady Madeline! Haha, <laughs> somehow I imagine it was more likely the other way around. <laughs> Cuck. Okay, so with that conversation, I wouldn't be surprised if they suddenly start moving towards us. Anyway, we gotta do something about these guys. I think I can probably kill this guy with Cybill. And then what I could potentially do... I think Eagler doesn't kill that guy in one hit. Cybill? Hmm. Who is that? I, don't think, I think that's probably an original character. Um... Yeah, if I used to steal Great Lands here... Might as well talk first. I understand you're in charge of these Mahir mercenaries. I speak for them, if that's what you mean. Hassar, Hassar pretty much does what he wants, and we tag along. Oh, my apologies for presuming, miss. It is my experience that alien women tend to find mercenaries drawn to them, and not the other way around. Well, in my experience, that stuffy above the salt types like you don't care to associate with rats like us. Uh, excuse me? You protect your little lordling, sir knight. Leave the real work to us. Come now, lass. Have you no respect? Not for your kind, I'm afraid. I'm not sure whether or not I should be more outraged or ashamed. Wow. This Pegasus Knight got a mouth on her. Oh, god damn it! Really? Ugh. Now I'll probably need. Now I'll probably need Hassan. Or Hassar. Hassar. <laughs> not Hassan. Yep. I'll need. Oh, he can't reach. Uh. Whoops. Do I have a vulnerary, and will that even help? Nope, it will not. Yeah, you're gonna need to rescue me now. Wait, do you move slower with rescuing in this game? It almost seems like you do. Anyway, I need to soften up this guy a little bit. Eh. This guy is bulky, holy shit. Does this guy have some sort of special protection or something? Or maybe the weapon triangle is more powerful? I don't know. Uh, No. Doesn't look like it. He's just really strong. But yeah, I really want to give this kill to Isadora, but I... Eh, we'll just give it to Marcus, I guess. And then, if we have enough con, we might be able to grab uh, Tori off this guy with uh, Harkin. No, we cannot. Oh well. Might as well heal then. Alright, so here's the question. Do we want to pull this guy? He has a bronze axe and 9 speed. I think Isadora will be able to deal with him. Let's do it. I'm not really sure how the calculations of this game work, but it seems to me like the weapon triangle might be more uh, significant. Also, Isadora is able to use some batos now. That could grant her some pretty nice kills. Anyway, this guy is... Ugh. Steel Greatlands is not very reliable at all. Um, and also the pi... Oh, there we go. They've started moving now. Uh, Alright, so what's our hit rates here? 7, 93, and... Well, that's actually not enough. Not unless we hit on this guy, which doesn't look like we are will be doing, so. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm just gonna be moving away from this guy for now. And then drop you off here. Yeah, I'm gonna take a hit from this guy whether I want to or not. I think it's probably best if we just pull back a little bit now. These Pegasus Knights seem pretty scary. I love the generic portraits, by the way, they're fantastic. So, yeah, I think that's exactly... Oh, never mind, we can, we can, um... Yeah, we can give this kill to, um... Pegasus Girl. I've forgotten her name again. Hassar is insane. He reminds me a little bit of Shin. And that makes sense, considering Shin and uh, Lin can be related. Alright, should be an easy kill. But yeah, I'll definitely pull back now. I'm not really sure if this... <laughs> I love how she fights, like, that cannot be an effective way to wield the lance right there, like, having it behind her in that manner doesn't sound very good at all. Anyway, uh, I would preferably like to get away from this guy. 
we can probably let Marcus deal with the Pegasus Knights. Uh, he has 5 speed though, so that means he gets doubled. But they don't do that much damage to him, and he is pretty tanky. So can he take 2 hits? Something tells me these guys, well they got 9 speed, so they'll probably use an Iron Lance against him. So that's um, 13 damage times 2. 13... yeah, he'll, he'll deal with that, no problem. As long as this guy doesn't fuck him over. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, he'll be fine. We'll just put him here. Give him a, give him an Iron Lance. Has he taken damage? No. I don't know why... Oh, never mind. He just shows up. But yeah, I'll put you over here. We'll send Madeline back as well. Oh, wait a minute. Should be a little bit careful with this Adora here. I think she'll be fine. How much damage does she take from this guy? 8 damage, and then this guy comes around and does 14 damage. 14 plus 8 is not enough to kill. Oh, really? Oh, fuck me. That's not great. Um, how much damage does this guy do to Madeline? I think we're, we might have to do this now. Ah, fuck me. Can you rescue her? Yes, you can. I think that might be necessary. Actually, I think we're fine. Yeah, Madeline has 27 hit points. She's actually gonna be completely fine here. Oh wow, that guy doubles me. Okay, never mind. Oh, cool! Support! You're fitting in quite well, Harkin. Have you served in a Lord's Retinue before? Yeah, it uh, didn't go so well as this, though. What do you mean? Uh, I don't really want to get into it. Too bad. You can't say a thing like that and expect me to expect me to pretend I didn't hear it. I didn't mean to say anything at all. Please, can you just drop it? No, I'm going to not going to give up that easily. Well, neither am I. Fine. If it's a fight you want, then it's a fight you'll have. I warn you, when it comes to this particular arena, I'm something of a champion. What does that even mean? Just leave me alone. Never. Not until you tell me your secret. Just go away. <laughs> you don't have to shout at me. What? What? Why are you being so mean? No, don't cry, I'm sorry. Ah, I'll tell you, please stop! Yay! <laughs> oh, you manipulative little girl, I knew you were just playing. Wait. <laughs> Man, that's great. That's an adorable support, by the way. I love it. Alright. So, yeah, Madeline, not gonna die from this. 69. This is great. This is perfect. Man, I love how tanky Marcus is. And he just got the D, so that's great. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -ba -da. And there we go. Perfect. Alright, time to promote class change. Oh, this is great. This is just like in Radiant Dawn. I love that. Cavalier, Cavalier, Cavalier. Yes! Oh, he's a Lance Cavalier, Vanguard. Hmm, interesting. So he got Kanto, that's great. Yeah, it looks like he might be a Lance Cavalier. Alright, this is about to get pretty tough. Look at that guy, Vanguard. Stern men whose momentum behind a spear breaks deals. Yeah, he's a Lance Cav, essentially. Love it. It's great. Well, he's certainly good now. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm gonna make a cut here and continue in the next part. Join us tomorrow as we continue our quest to defeat the big titty lady. Also known as Edeleis. I think it's just Edeleis. Anyway, give this episode a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. My name is Simbanks, and I shall see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye!